Hello, everybody. I'm C.J. Miller. I'm in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, downtown, across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful, healthy, uh, great wrap-up to their weekend. For me, what I decided to do was to uh, begin uh, my fasting. So I, I fast today. Uh, the last time I really had anything to eat was a uh, mud bug. Uh, Madness Festival yesterday. I posted some videos. You'll see it. But uh, I ate a chicken on a stick, uh, shared uh, one person's uh, alligator ball. It's basically alligator meat. But, you know, instead of alligator on a stick was an alligator ball. I had one of those. And then I had a, a filet of fish. Not filet of fish. A, a filet of fish. With a, you know, fish play. But it's probably not catfish. It was probably tilapia. No, knowing uh, whatever it, it didn't it didn't seem like the catfish that I'm aware of so I feel like it was probably a uh, uh, swai or something like that but anyway uh, but, but that we got the we get the fish and then um, and it had a few french fries maybe a typical serving of a french fry you know but that that was it that's uh, that was my uh, um, and then for breakfast that day, I'd had like a couple of, I was out walking that morning and I had a couple of Crispitos, which is like a, a gas station uh, staple, gas station food staple, whatever. So, but anyway, I decided today um, I could fast and then uh, uh, prepare my uh, meals a, a few days uh, that was going to be in keeping with my keto regimen which is not really a regimen it's, it's almost like a lifestyle now for them for the most part uh and i did a a, a large pan laid out of um, chicken leg quarters uh and uh you know crusted with um uh, a spicy herb blend you know and uh and that's great and so i, I can have that for for uh, the next several days just because I love chicken and then um, you know if I decide to get a little bored with that with the encrusting the flavor that's you know it's easy to brush on a little barbecue sauce or it's easy to uh, do other things you know break it down and make a, a little chicken salad out of it or something like that but I, I'm sure I'll be fine as far as like that goes it's a good thing that that I really enjoy chicken you know that I, that I've uh, grew up on uh, chicken love chicken so that's fine a lot of people a lot of people uh, don't like dark meat chicken I like dark meat chicken I like white meat chicken I like chicken it's very versatile very flavorful so um, that's cool and really really works for my uh, keto my favorite being chicken wings you know encrusted you know uh, chicken wings spicy if I can get it you know uh, I had a, you know, if you followed me, you know, I got like really, really obsessed with this one brand of store bought uh, chicken wing that was just perfect. And then they quit, you know, those blazing wings. Now they're blazing, they'll make blazing chunks, but it's like, <laughs> it's not the same. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Because uh, I discovered uh, that if I, took my favorite brand of hot sauce, which is crystal, or you can use any sort of something like that, and then shake it onto uh, a good non-spicy crusted chicken wing before you did the baking. And then you, you know, then you can kind of sort of get similar to the, to the blazing wings. Uh, close enough that I can find it. It's been enough time and then close enough that I feel, you know, uh, as I hear my downstairs neighbor out on their balcony, I'm sorry. If, if you hear them, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I got, I got close enough on that. I, but, but yeah, when I get like a, a thought, I'm still obsessing with these wings because they were so delicious and so good. But anyway, yeah. But uh, what else? Oh, so, uh, so but, oh, I'm fasting today. Uh, and then I'll be doing keto diet for the rest of the week. I really won't be doing any food videos. There won't, really won't be a need to because um, it's just uh, leg quarters laid out, no special treatment, just a little bit of a, a herb and spicy blend, 
that, that I put together. And then um, from that, uh, yeah. And then I will uh, spend some time uh, in uh, at, at the sauna in the gym, you know, the... Uh, you know, sweating. I feel I feel a good secret to uh, maintaining or even reducing weight, and I'm so, so very very. You know, I'm like that super ultimate goal weight that I want to reach, and it's really just the number. It's you know, but it's it's within two or three pounds uh, within my reach. You know, and it's like okay, I'm gonna get it. You know. So if I if I diet and I really really hit the hit the hit the sauna and uh, losing the weight, the secret is sweating, be it in a workout, you know, the secret uh, to uh, losing fat in particular is sweating it out, you know. Uh, the more you sweat, the more you lose, you know. And then uh, it's better to do it a little slowly. And once I reach the goal weight that I want to reach. Um, from there, I will feel that I'm very slender enough because uh, that I can start doing a little bit more of the resistance training and, uh, you know, um, um, you know, working on cuts and muscle building and everything like that for appearance, for aesthetics and, and maintaining. And that's all great to, to look as, as uh, uh, one's best and everything. But my thing is just I just want to be healthy and I want to have a long healthy uh life you know and uh the secret to the longevity i think at my age would be you know staying active you know uh so that's cool um what else what else can i have to say because i know that's a boring bit of a conversation talking about health you know because i'm not like i don't there there is no magic uh you know to it there's no secret concoction or whatever I, I diabetic type two, and I did after that first. Uh, it took me about a year to really get uh, that A one C down to a six point oh, and I've kind of managed between that, you know, like around there somewhere. Um, so uh, very safe levels. Main thing is that um, well. I've, I've, <laughs> The main thing, I'm sorry about the health thing, the, you know, to, to be healthy, it's not it's not about uh, vanity or anything like that. And I do uh, like to dress eccentrically, and I like the attention. I like to express my personality. But when it comes to, like, the health, it's, it, it really is for the sake of health because I'm not, you know, the bodybuilder type. I'm not an athletic type or whatever. I like to get out and walk and, and experience the world and the outside. And, uh, you know, and I do enjoy... Uh, many different types of people and it's really fun you know but uh yeah so it's just a bonus um and let's see um coming up towards this is the end of may coming up towards the end of june i'm planning to go to a place i've not been before mountain view arkansas my friends uh some of my best friends they live up there and then uh so uh yeah, but we'll see. And it'll be like the end of June going into uh, July. So the Independence holiday or whatever, I'll probably, I'll probably spend up there um, tentatively unless something changes. What else? Um, that, and then after that, uh, it'll be kind of a, you know, a slow, so it'll be like a slow week for June. Uh a uh, slow month for June, basically, I should say, until the end of June, going into July. And then I'll have some videos that are something new and something different that I haven't shown before. And, and uh, maybe we'll take a little side trip up to Branson, we're thinking of. And I'm not, I'm not been to Branson. I'm not really, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, I never thought of Branson. I always thought if I ever do something like that, I'll go to Tennessee, uh, uh, you know, uh, Nashville, where I, I, you know, or something. And maybe I'll do that one of these days. But uh, but yeah, I guess I guess maybe we'll get some video of uh, Branson or something if we go there, uh, and then um, that's about it. And there won't be anything going on, you know, super exciting until uh, after that in August, um, which is the um, <laughs> um, 
what we call GeekCon. It's kind of our version of Comic-Con, but it also includes games, video games, LARPing, just anything that fits within a sci-fi, horror, fantasy genre kind of thing. Anything, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> you know, figurines, right? Yeah, anything like that. Costuming, which is, it's wonderful, you know. And so, uh, do you know what's ironic? The food that they have here. Standard uh, concession fare, burger, fries, that kind of stuff. What would be interesting is if they did something that was fantastical when it comes to food, you know. Make uh, make some hot cross buns or, a, uh, you know, I don't know, a dragon sausage, call it. But it, make it a spicy sausage or something like a hot link or something. I don't know. Just make it make it fantasy. We get creative with the food. But no, nah, they don't do, really do that. Because it's probably the concessions are handled not by uh, the conventioneers, but probably by the convention center or whatever. But, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, it should be fun, though. On that, con uh, you know, tentatively, we've got D. Wallace, uh, Henry Thomas, uh, both of the, the and and the brother. I forget his name from the ET movie. Um, Tony Todd from Candyman, uh, a few others. You know, some, a couple of people from The Walking Dead. We normally get a couple of those guys. It's, it's um, you know, it's cool on the on the on the panel. So that's fun. But I, I'm mostly excited to be able to interact uh, with uh, Dee Wallace, who has I've been a fan of. When she was coming into her own as an actress in the late 70s going into the 80s, I was uh, still young enough that she kind of had that mother uh, figure, you know, where she always played somebody's mother. Like she was E.T.'s mom, uh, Elliot's mom or whatever. She was... Um, you know, uh, Danny Pintaro's mom uh, from Cujo. You know, all that. So, I mean, so that was kind of like that kind of thing. And she did a great job of that. It was, there was I think it was her, Terry Gar, and Melinda Dillon. All three of those people. Um, Men Melinda Dillon did the, 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 a lot of the comedy kind of stuff. And Terry Gar was kind of housewife. And then mom, you know, in a lot of the movies. Uh, and then, of course, you had uh, um, uh, D. Wallace playing the uh, mom in a lot of genre films or whatever. So there was like the, the trifecta of moms there, you know, in, in movie cinema. But, uh, but D. Wallace has done a lot of uh, horror, you know, and I really uh, thoroughly enjoyed that, you know. Uh, so she hit me uh, on, on two levels as, as uh, the, you know, matriarch and, you know, in a, in a lot of movies, mother, motherly kind of thing, dealing with, um, you know, being the hero to her children, usually sons uh, in, uh, in horror movies, which is great because if you know anything, well, and I'm sure you do if you're, if you're a son or if you're a mother with a son. I think you know that that is a very interesting dynamic, uh, you know, because the mother is raising the son to be the man that, that she would like him to be, sort of, uh, give or take. We, we, we often let our mothers down, but then, uh, you know, the son looks to the mother to choose the type of uh, romantic partner he, you know, he, he, you know that, that he would idolize uh, as, as an adult, you know. So it's kind of weird, you know, the, the qualities that he sees in his mother is the qualities that he's going to want in, uh, in a mate, you know, gay or straight. I mean, if, if like me, I'm gay, but I look for, uh, you know, uh, you know, strong morals uh, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a relationship because my mother had a, a basis, you know, that she uh, conveyed to my sister and, and myself as far as like, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, uh, you look for that, you look for that. But, and, and so D D Wallace in the movies, like she was like, she, she embodied all that. So what else? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that, you know? Ooh. And, uh, beyond that, there's, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 
there aren't a lot of local concerts that are coming here that I want to see, and there are concerts around that I'd want to go see, but uh, that all depends on, um, you know, whom I can convince to go on a road trip with me or something like that. Yeah. Uh, possibly towards the end of the year, I have a friend who wants to uh, go watch uh, in New York, you know, she, she's from Queens, and her sister's still up there. She's going to go see a, a, an open tennis thing or something. I don't know, some sort of major tournament. I'm not a tennis person. But I thought that would be a fun time to maybe at the same time uh, go to New York myself. I haven't been there. Uh, the last time I was there, I was 19, and I was so, like, out of it, I barely remember. And it was only uh, for for a couple of hours on a, on a New Year's Eve it was probably New Year's by that by the time you know the party was probably over by the time we got there. I don't know. I don't remember much, but um, that would be fun, you know, that to be able to go there and then actually be able to recall the memory, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. That's still a little too far off to to solidify, you know. And I wouldn't be like visiting with my friend. It would just be like you know, hey, I'll be there. It's my first time there, or whatever. Just a one of the. Uh, you know, touching, touching base and, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, in case I get shot, stabbed, robbed, mugged or something like that, to have someone there to uh, contact in, 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 type, in, in, in uh, those types of emergencies, someone that could uh, phone home <laughs> if need be, you know. It's always good to have, like, you know, on a, on a vacation or something like that, you know, be able to, you know, uh, you know, set up a point of check-in, you know, whatever, just out of consideration for loved ones back home. Um, different than what I used to do when I was in my 20s and 30s. I would just kind of like run around and it's like, hey, see you when I see you, whatever. <sighs> Boy. Responsibility about those things used to be kind of burdensome. Now it's like, hey, I could go, whatever. It's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, okay, so... Um, peace, love and light. God bless. Bye.